and welcome back to Critters and Creations. Um, today, the day that this video will be going live on YouTube, um, will be Valentine's Day. So what I wanted to do for you today um, is do a little bit of a feeding video on my Egyptian predatory beetles with my boyfriend John. We both love the beetles so much, they're so entertaining, they can have some fits of laughter, they always take to their prey and they're just great fun and I'm really thinking about getting some more of those because I really love them that much. Um, also I wanted to show you an update on my little Brachypelma Homori who I had in my very first video, it was my very first tarantula and if you do own tarantulas you'll know that there is no love like your first one. So that's what I'm looking forward to giving you today to watch, um, hope you enjoy it and if you do give me a nice thumbs up. Happy Valentine's Day everybody. So here is my Brachypelma Homori. Uh, we were going to feed this one today, but it wouldn't take to any prey and has been not taking food for a little while. So we're feeling like possibly a moult coming on. I'm hoping so, because I keep wanting to call her a she. But I'm not too sure just yet. I've just got that feeling so we will have to wait and see so since first getting this one we've had an enclosure upgrade as you can see um, if you did see the first video she was put into something a little temporary and is now happily living in here always on top of the hide always and if not, it's digging around in the dirt. Now let's feed my Egyptian predatory beetles with John and we've decided to call them Bert and Ernie. Don't ask. Mate, look. Look. It's for you. I bring you presents. Come on. It's behind you. For crying out loud. No, he wants two now. Yeah, well, they always want to. Behind you, buddy. Oh, dear. It's camera shy. Yeah, clearly. That is gruesome. You got it really close. Yeah. That worm's touching, <laughs> touching him. <laughs> <laughs> it literally has no idea what it's doing. Why is it doing that? Oh, buddy, you just walked into a death trap. A oh, no. Absolute mad lad. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Oh, he chewed oh. that one in half. Oh, and oh. it's still moving. Can you see it from there? Yeah. Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> dirty. Oh my god, he's munched it up. Look at the end of the worm where it's lying on the floor, it's still moving. Yeah, I can see it better than you can. I can see his facial expressions. <laughs> Well, I thought it was all friends. You see the little butt wiggling. <laughs> you happy with that? Yeah. You can click it off now, look. 
Okay, so that was my first spider, my first tarantula, who I love dearly, and my two Egyptian predatory beetles, fed by me and John today for Valentine's Day. Um, one last thing before I go, oh, maybe two. Yeah, two. <laughs> um, first thing I wanted to show you is, um, and you don't know about this yet, but the other day I was having a rummage round in my garden and I came across a couple of spiders out there. Um, it's been very cold recently down here in Plymouth um, and we did have a, a sprinkling of snow as well. It's been very frosty, bitterly cold. Um, so I found two spiders out in my garden. One was a cellar spider and one was a false widow. And what I wanted to do uh, as I come across them was bring them in in the warm for just a little while just until it warms up a little bit and I set them up with a temporary enclosure and I was going to set them back out into the wild again once the temperatures outside started to raise a little bit because it was so cold I felt so bad for them um, but while they've been here one of them had a little surprise I made a little discovery while we were having a look at the rest of the critters so I thought I might share this with you as well and what is not to love about this this is the false widow and look what's up here like this is so exciting I don't want to stress this one out too much and she has been all around that egg sack really taking care of it and I think it's really exciting but I've never actually dealt with this before I don't feel like uh, maybe I should have it in my care while this is happening um, so I'm gonna pass this spider and its egg sack on to someone who will be able to look after it a lot better than myself so I just want the best for the spider and the egg sack and see what happens after so I will keep in touch with the person I pass it on to and I will be able to update you all on how it's got on uh, once I find out more my last last thing <laughs> is I am going to bug fest on Saturday uh, with a few friends who are also youtubers as well and I'm going there, I'm actually on the hunt for some enclosures uh, but who knows what else I'll come back with so stay tuned if you haven't already click subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video take care then, bye!